Hello everybody and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we went out on an adventure with the Holy Light by our side. And it was actually a really good one. I think it was a long adventure. We got some nice stuff, got a lot of money, and I sadly missed out on a secret room through my own stupidity. I'm glad that you guys weren't too angry about that. But this time we have a new character to introduce and a good few backstories to go through. So let's get right into this. Here we are in the Cursed Estate. It's actually week 39 now. We've been getting through them. My god, it's nearing a year. Getting so close. And we have a new recruit, the Blackguard, out here. And this is a backstory by Toby Lord. I've seen... I've seen everything. Life, death, it doesn't matter to me. I fell on the battlefield, but I was called to fight again. But this time, it's something else. I am not afraid of dying anymore. This does not mean, however, that I will let others die. The same dark and filthy magic that revived me can heal and protect others. I realize that these powers that I should not play with. But if I leave everything to fate, who will protect my companions? Who will defeat the evil lurking here? Despite my transformation, I still have a kind heart. At least, I think so. Great. Absolutely great from Toby Lord there. Thank you very much. I'm so glad that you came in at a level three as well. It's going to be super interesting playing as this guy. And just, just look at some of the skills we have here. We have some very interesting stuff. Uh, so he is kind of going to be like a frontline sort of... He's going to be doing quite a lot of stuff. So we have Pulverize here, which is going to um, be getting extra damage per darkness. So we're going to be playing with the dark a little bit here. We have Lifesteal, which, um, as you can see, will heal us for 40% of our maximum HP. Um, it will lower our bleed resistance a lot, and we will take some bleed. And um, we get extra bleed amount. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so it actually okay, it applies bleed. And debuffs them. Oh, this is this is really good. This is a really good skill. Then we have Relinquish. This is going to heal for between 6 and 7, which is great. Um, and add extra um, skill healing if Torch is below 50. And we're also going to suffer some damage of our own. We also have Blaring here, which is going to be a minus 2 accuracy um, to the front 2, which is pretty interesting. Probably not going to keep that one on there. We have the, the Death Grip here for a pull. Um... As well as increasing our damage and speed, which is quite nice. Uh, we have Call of the Grave, which will clear corpses, uh, minus a bit of torch off. And it'll deal damage to everyone as well, which is nice. And we also have this one here, which is going to minus torch. It's going to immobilize us, but it is going to basically turn us into a wall. It's going to give us extra healing received, um, minus 50 damage received. Relinquish. Let's have a look at that. Okay, um... Oh, okay. So we suffer less damage received from Relinquish here. Uh, and it buffs our protection. Yeah, we definitely want that on. And I think this is going to be a really cool little way to sustain. And he is going to be a very fun one. And we're probably going to try and go out with him today. Although, we have to realize that we have a lot of level 3s now that can't go on level 2 missions. So we have to be aware of that. We don't really have anything we want to buy here. I think we did buy something recently, didn't we? I can't remember exactly what it was now. Look into that as we go ahead here. And we are... Slowly but surely reaching our limit here. I mean, we do have the option to um, increase our roster size up to 70. Get another 5 on our roster size. Um, we will be upping that, actually. It's going to be a great idea. Uh, just because we want to be getting as many as we can in so we can level people up and get a nice variety. But we are we have an insane amount of heroes with us now. An absolutely insane amount of heroes. But let's, um, let's have a look what we're going to go do today. Uh, I'm very tempted to go to the farmstead, so can someone please suggest a party suggestion for the farmstead and maybe we'll go there in the next episode. If any of you in the Discord or in the comment section could give me a good party suggestion for the first mission of the fan said, I realize it's only level one, but it would be nice to have a little suggestion there on what we could maybe do. Um, we are very close to um, going ahead to kill the rest of our next level bosses. So I'm very tempted to do that. Um, it's actually... I'm, I'm wondering, should we try and go on maybe one or two more level one quests first? I know that we're kind of stalling and we're going to be doing a lot of the easier quests a bit more often. But I think that's not such a bad thing. Um, we can go on a long one here. Let's go on a medium one first, and then maybe we'll go on a short one after that. Let's see who we want to bring with us today. Um, how many level ones do we have here? 
Uh, we have Leo, who's level 1, Dai. Oh, actually, we do have a diary entry here for Dai, and this is by Cell. After the mission, I decided to stop at the local church. Ever since I left my, brothers to the monk my brother to the monks, I would pray at the local church upon arriving into a new town. One of the monks there, Kaminari was his name. He seemed familiar. His faith reminded my own. Odd. Very interesting. I like that a lot. Um... Let's carry on. So, we could maybe bring Dai with us. I, I'm surprised Victoria is still is still level 1, so we'll definitely bring Victoria. Let's bring Victoria. Haverad, he can go at the back. Um, I, I do want to bring Yatsu again, but we kind of need a, a very movable party with uh, with Yatsu. Although, we could make this a movable party. Uh, let's try this out, shall we? So, we got, we got a bit of movement around there. Let's bring Yatsu here. So, apparently we want to be very heavily switching between two different uh, modes. Do you know someone we haven't been out with in a while? Alamia. Uh, I think she's level 3 though now, isn't she? Alamia. Maybe not. Okay, Artemis is Artemis is still not quite level 3 yet. We could, we could up her level and get her to level 3 if we wanted. Or we could take someone such as Maggie or Will June. Um, we definitely want a more dedicated healer here. 100%. Octavia. I'm very tempted to take Octavia as well, but I think, like I said, we need more dedicated healing. Right now, all we have is Blossom. Um, and someone said about the ability to use two skills in combination with each other here to get, like, a massive amount of stress healing. I think, I think someone said that one of these skills buffs the other skill. So I'll have to have a look into that. Uh, trespass always crit versus marked as well. So I'll, I'll try and mess around with um, with Yatsu a little more and try and play around with some of her abilities and hopefully get something going on there. That could be quite interesting. Um, Chasey's very high stress. Maybe we should put her away for uh, a bit of healing. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go with Maggie. Do you know what? We're just something we'll do before we before we do anything here. First of all, I do want to unlock this skill for Maggie here uh, and put that on instead of her mark there. I think that's going to be much more valuable for us right now. Uh, but yeah, I wanna I wanna maybe have a look at taking different people for like getting some different people upgraded. So let's have a look at the party that we currently have. Start by level and get these guys up here and just make sure everyone's upgraded. And this is kind of how we should do our upgrades. Just whoever we want to take. So we'll upgrade that. Uh, you're fine. You're now fine. You're fine. And then make sure everyone's upgraded here too. You're fine. 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 So everyone, everyone there's upgraded. Good, good. And I kind of want to keep our money high when we go on adventures. Just so the bank gives us a little bit extra. I think this is going to be a pretty good uh, combination of healing. Uh, so let's get everyone trinketed up, shall we? Um, first of all, we'll go... We'll go sort by class restriction and see what people have here. Uh, do you have anything particular? We don't have anything particular here. So I think I think this here is going to be such a good combination with this. Uh, restoration amount received and minus restoration duration received. Because um, that's just going to mean that she heals more often. And the extra disease resist is kind of nice too. Um, I think that's going to be very, very nice. And what else should we go for on her? Probably just want the extra healing skill. Um, the minus 20 maximum HP isn't great, but with the extra dodge, I think that's going to be fine. So we'll, we'll go with them two there and try that out. Um, you, of course, want stress reduction. Can we... Ah, oh, I, was, I was hoping we could give her two books. I think we still do what we did last time, though, and just go with the double down on stress reduction on her. Just because she's going to be taking so much on, it's better to try and negate as much as we possibly can here i'm gonna go full on damage so let's go with extra damage if, if in position one as well as what else can we go with we could go with damage versus beast we're going into the warrens here let's have a little check and see what most of the warrens enemies are going to be uh are going to be doing for us here and see see what we can find out um darkest Dungeon Warrens. I really want to do my research into into where I'm going here and make sure that I'm getting into the right places. This is not Warrens. This is just the darkest dungeon site. Uh, 
There we go. Warrens. Okay, so most of the enemies. We got human beast, human beast. You, uh, beast, human beast, 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 beast. Okay, so we've got a hell of a lot of beasts. In fact, almost everything's a beast in here, so let's go with the extra damage versus beast, shall we? In this ring here. We don't really care about the dodge, because if we look, her dodge is only five anyways, and that's going to be some insane damage on her. Um, I'm very, very happy with that. Um... Then I think on Havrod we kind of want to just go for that ranged accuracy. So I actually think with with uh, Havrod here we go with the extra accuracy there, and we also maybe go for the extra accuracy here as well. Uh, so then he gets incredible accuracy, and it means that this debuff to his accuracy isn't going to matter too much. And then we can be pretty happy with uh, with this loadout for him here. So let's uh, let's make our way into here and we're going to be getting our fortunate armlet after this as well which i'm pretty happy about so let's head on in i think everyone's trinketed up now aren't they i'm pretty happy with uh with our lot in life here she's going to receive a bit of less resolve xp so she shouldn't she shouldn't level up too much but that's not too big of a problem let's get ready to go out here and we do have the chance to find the collector here so we've got to be aware of that but we have range damage so i'm, I'm generally quite okay with that so we'll go 20, 5, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, two of these, and 20. And that should do us. Good, good. Into the warrens we go. One moment, people. Okay, an hour later. Oh, I am back. And yeah, I'm just going to go into a diary entry before we carry on here. We have one, another one by Cell. Actually, all the diary entries today are all by Cell. We have one here for Trell a Revenant. As the time I spend here begins to eclipse over half a year, I've noticed just how bleak the town truly is. Sure, the days are spent in prayer and baking. The night silence is driven back by the drunken excess. There is always this eerie feeling lying just below the surface. It's like an instinct given to those who live here. And this, these words I keep hearing in my mind when nobody's around, they seem to whisper softly. Protect them. The end will be upon us all soon. They will need you. Amazing. I even I love the fact there's even a cue to whisper there. I love that so much. Add so much. Oh, the secret room. The secret room get is so big for us right now, considering the last one we missed. Lots of extra food there. That's great. Trapped Sam, of course, Maggie here, knows exactly what she's doing with those traps. She has tinkered with all sorts of constructs, she knows what she's doing. Nice surprise there as well. Right, I'm going to have to sort of learn how to best play these guys. Let's just start off with a Bramble, get that Repurse going. And honestly, let's double Repurse, let's just set up two Repurse. You get a block as well. Um. Can we kill any of you in one hit? Let's try and kill you. Oh, we got the lowest roll possible. We did get a stun though, so I'm fine with that. Um, and we'll definitely kill you, but you are stunned, so there's not much point. I think we just start our cooking and get the restoration going on everyone. Now, one thing we don't really have in this party that I didn't think of too much is we don't really have a good way to stress heal, which is maybe a problem. There we go. I love that. It caused some bleeding us there though. So... We'll switch to this mode here. Gives everyone a little bit of stress. And then the Crimson Dance does extra damage against Blight. Okay, so I can kind of see Crimson Dance working with the um, Weed Out. And that gets extra Blight while stealthed. This armor pierces and bypasses guard. Um, let's just go for the Crimson Dance. And let's go for it on you. That's going to hit both of you. That did get you. It didn't get the guy we actually aimed for, though, sadly. Uh, you're going to die to bleed, I think. Yeah, you are. Let's just go for you. Sadly, not a full hit again, but that stun's really nice. Havarad's got that great ability to stop, stop targets doing much, because they get lowered speed and a chance to stun. It works really, really well. Um, I think... Honestly, I think we just go for a stab. No, actually, I was going to go for a stab, but I, I don't know. Um, 
let's let's just buff you up. And that's gonna work out fine. And then we'll do this here. So let's actually see. I need to check how much restoration she's she's receiving. Nice. This thing's still got a lot of health, so we should go for that. Um Strike there. Great stuff. Love to see it. And then we maybe want to go with this to minus 75% if in scholar mode. How do we know what mode we're in? I, just have to pay, I think I just have to pay attention, don't I? We probably don't ever want to use Shroud here. Um, let's just change back. All Scholar skills. Stress allies. Change mode to Warrior. So we're in Scholar mode right now. We probably don't want to use either of these, to be honest. Let's just go with this again. And her stress is looking fine right now, so I'm not really too bothered by that. These hits on her are starting to hurt, though. Let's take you out. You're going to die to this blight in a moment. Let's just get that on you. I'm a little worried here. That was a lot. And butcher only. That's that's uh, that's not great. <laughs> I'll take it for now, but I don't I, I don't rate that too well. Uh, you definitely need a bandage. I'm not too happy about that, but that healing over over time should help us out massively there. We refound the secret room, which I don't really understand. Um, and we found a map as well. Great. Oh, it's a full map as well. Amazing. Amazing. I'm just going to go in here straight away. Get what we get. And we got ourselves a head, which is great. And we got ourselves two of these. This head isn't great, though. Uh, well, I say it's not great. I'm, I'm struggling to see who that's going to be super useful on. It gives us tons of resist. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe that'd be really good on people that bleed themselves, such as the um, what's his name, uh, Jonathan Baker. Maybe, maybe that's the situation in which it could be super useful. The collector. We knew there was a chance. We knew there was a chance. Um, I think we start off with a weed out. We want to try and get the stun off here, so we're gonna set up for a stun there. Uh, we're just gonna go for the biggest hit we can. Take up as much health as we can here. Do that. Forty-five percent chance to stun. You've got a fifty stun resist. I think we just set up for this instead. Nice. Collector's call. We just want to aim for him and take out the highwayman when we can with everyone else. Life steal. That might not be too great. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, let's set up the restoration here. Really helps out with bleed and all that jazz. Um, all scholar skills give extra stress. Let's move over to this mode and see if we can hit him in the back line with this, maybe. It's not going to. Uh, armor piercing. Let's just go for it. Nice. We got a pretty good strike going there. I'm very happy about that, actually. Okay, we're taking a hit here. Headbutt for a huge hit on us there. This could be This could be bad. Averad's taking quite a lot of hits here. That restoration should help out massively. We'll get that going. And there you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Havrad, he says, he says no, Collector. Not today. Not today, thank you. We get another one of those. Sadly, we didn't actually really get much there, to be honest. Um, we only got one of these. I was really hoping for a bit more than that. Havrad, he, he was like, yeah, I, guys, I got this. I got this. Just a 50 damage critical hit on the Collector. Absolutely no fear at all. No fear. Uh, we're going to give him some healing and lower his stress a little bit. So I think that's going to be a little better. That definitely hurt. We're, we're, we're having a lot of bleed stacked on us recently, which isn't great. Um, I think this is a free action, isn't it? Yeah, continue turn. So let's do that. Give you a bit of extra restoration and then start that up. Give you a little more. Um, is anyone we want to stun that's got low stun resist? Yeah, let's go on a stun with you. Wow. Oh, wait. We get the extra damage for a certain round, so we can carry that into extra battles. That's super useful. It's not always going to be something that makes sense or is possible, but when that is possible, that's a, that's really, really good to remember. Um, let's change mode again. I want to try and play with her modes a little more here, and this is the perfect thing to do. I love that attack. 
Being able to shuffle everyone around, apply bleed, and do decent damage. It, it works so well together. They really hate you. I mean, you're not marked, actually. I thought you were. But they, they really don't like you. What, what's your bleed on? Your bleed isn't worth healing, I don't think. I think we just go for a strike on you and finish you off. We really need to kill you, though. 24 HP is quite a lot. But I do not want to be bleeding you. Let's get that going. You will... You will do some extra skills while you're blighted, but I think that's fine. You get the extra damage for one round. Could get us a kill in one hit, and it indeed did. Great. Okay, let's uh, let's start throwing some stuff away. Loudenum really isn't necessary. Um, we've been using some some of this. I I want to I want to get rid of that, but I actually think it sells for a good amount, so I'm not going to bother. Let's just leave the citrine. It's the it's the lowest form of money that we can get. Uh, what's our actual objective, by the way? 100% of room battles. Because looking at this, we only have one more room battle, and it's this one. Like, literally everything else is completely optional. So, I think what we probably want to do here is, um... Wait a minute, let's, let's first reorder pie now. Okay, so since we've already found our secret room, which is one of the big reasons I go on these long quests, let's just go for any curios we can. Ooh, great. Okay, this is, this is something we need to look at. I think... Yeah, this removes a negative quirk. So let's have a look who's got the worst negative quirks. Limp is annoying. That's kind of annoying. Gluttonous is definitely annoying. So I'd say all three of hers are pretty terrible. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it with Maggie here. See if we can remove that gluttonous off of her ignorant quirk. Okay, that's pretty good. Good, good. I'm happy about that. Um, and we can just keep lowering your stress by going for these disarms here. Let's just have a look at our camping skills real quick. Is there going to be anything that we really want to do in terms of camping? Prevent nine-time ambush. So we've got that at least if we need it. I'm just looking if there's anything that's going to be super, super useful. Prevent nighttime ambush there as well. We probably want to do that just for the fireworks. That's, that's really good. Um, it is going to lower our range damage though, but I... I kind of want to do that just at the end. So let's just check this. That's books, so we don't care about that. So there is a chance that moving between all these rooms like this that we will find more combat along the way. But that's kind of fine. I'm I'm willing to be like okay with that. Okay, we got plenty of food, so that's fine. Maggie, we're just basically we're just using traps to completely de-stress Maggie. Um and we'll do that we'll do it again up this way. In fact, let's go for a risk here. Of course. Of course. I went for the risk. It was definitely not worth it. Definitely won't be doing that again. That going. Last bandage, but I'll take it. Lots of food. Let's just heal you up. We got tons of my god, how do we get so much food? That's insane. Um yeah, then we can turn back around. We might as well just camp before this last battle. See if we can get some bonuses on a few people. Well this has gone alarmingly well. Alarmingly well. So what's one thing that I've I've kind of got planned for this next combat here? So let's let's camp out. You, yeah, we can do that. Then, I don't really care about the minus damage here. Let's just do that. In fact, we might be able to remove the debuff. Yeah, we can. Let's just do that then. Easy. Um, one companion, extra healing can received. Everyone's on pretty much no stress now. Let's do that. And then... We don't really need anything else. Uh, self only. Yeah, let's just do that. That's going to be extra speed. Delays, cares, craving. Let's just get rid of those as well. And then let's rest. We don't really need to do anything else. Ah, oh, what? We prevented knights. Okay, I'm a little confused, honestly. We prevented nighttime ambush with this guy. Is that not what that does? Self only. What? What does that even mean? <laughs> What? I never knew that that's how that worked. Okay, that was a mistake, definitely. Especially considering everyone's getting a bit of, bit of more stress here. 
Munch. Don't worry about it. I'm a little... I'm a little perturbed by that, though. A little perturbed. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to go for the Blight on everything here. Um, let's change over modes. Got you. We're at one stress. Go for the lunge. Finish you off. But yeah, that was unexpected. Okay, and we'll just cook straight away here. Get the blight on everyone. Heal everyone back up. For a nighttime ambush, this didn't go too badly at all. Slice you. Tiny bit of stress. And finish you off. Okay, that went fine. That went just fine. Right. So I've got an idea for this next bit of combat here. Can't do that, sadly. So let's take out as many things as we can. Change over. Crimson Dance should kill two of these guys, pretty much. I think, I think that's basically two of them dead. And finish you off. Finish you off. Okay, this is great. Then we do this. Now these two should die. Great. Now he's got this. He's got this buff. And you get the extra speed, which is even better. So now when we enter this room, he should have two, two rounds, or maybe even still three, of the extra damage. Yeah, he already has the extra damage coming into the battle. That's so good. Ah, oh, unfortunate weed out didn't work there. Just do that. Got a stun off there. Vomit, that hits us. Ooh, that's a big, big bit of stress there. When did that happen? Caught on you. 40 crit. Oh my god, Havarad. You, you are a monster. Do you know that war machine that we beat down? You're stronger than that, and you're a you're a, you're merely a man. That's insane. Hit that guy, marked him. Finish off that. Oh, amazing, Havarad. Amazing. And let's finish off that combat. You're coming out of this with more stress than I'd have liked, but I'm okay with it. Um. Cool, we're good there. And then what's this table? Oh, we just got rid of those. That's fine. Okay, we can end the quest here. I'm very happy with that. Came out with that with a lot. Great stuff. Let's see what everyone's taking on. Everyone's up to level 2 now, which is great. Uh, damage while blighted. Minus speed, that's fine. Second, that's great. Havrad, that's also great. If stress is above 50, that's, that's, that's pretty useful. I like that a lot. I'm happy we have that. Well, that has been a great first mission. And then extra prot on our next adventure. Right, let's just sort by level. Make sure we get all of our trinkets off of everyone. I think next time, though, I might want to actually go with Havarad having, having the um, extra damage. Because that seemed to work out really well. Him having accuracy and never missing also was pretty damn tasty, though, I have to say. Just never missing and having high crit was was very very nice Ooh, hot, hot to trot that's also another reason he was doing so well i think right let's just click on him back oh my god we have a lot of money right now take these guys off the hot seat and see what we've got going on in here we have a surgeon finally we've been waiting on a surgeon for a while i'm happy we have one we'll bring a surgeon along while wow, we have so many people <laughs> Uh, Surgeon feels you wondering is kind of an experimental, very sort of risk reward healer, and I'm I'm very happy to have him. He, honestly, his his sprite work isn't I said sprite work. His artwork probably isn't as law friendly as some of the rest of them, but I still think he's a very good character. Uh, because we have so much money, let's take a look in here and see if there's anything we really want. And it looks like there very much could could be here. So keeper. Extra healing received, extra maximum heal, extra bleed amount when applied, and minus bleed resist. We've got the Banished Hunter. Do we have a Banished Hunter yet? I don't think we do, do we? I don't think we have a Banished Hunter yet. 
And if we have, we haven't been out with them. I'm fairly sure we don't. Fairly sure we don't. But yeah, um, that is going to be crits versus beast, extra melee skills, on crit debuff target with minus prot, and damage received, and minus two speed. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, that. That's minus two speed on him. The ethereal crucifix, extra damage versus eldritch, extra bleed resist, and less HP. The vestal, the sacred scrolls, buying that 100%. For those of you that didn't see what that does, minus 10% stress, plus 33% healing skill, slightly lower stun chance, a lot lower damage. Makes Vestal insane, pretty much. Um, let's have a look what we got here. It did cost us a lot, but it's very, very much worth it. Um, here we've got Harlot. Stress healing skill, virtue chance, less crit. I kind of don't like that. I like her having crit. Um... Received in meditation. Oh, that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, we could get more stress heals by putting a trinket on them outside of combat. So that's that's interesting to have a trinket that works outside of combat. And then just to check as well, is there anything here that we desperately want? Um, oh my god, that is pretty fantastic. But, so, it's very interesting. So, it's going to up his maximum HP. Great. It's going to give him an additional 4 HP healed. Which means, even on a 0 heal, he at least heals for 4. He gains a slight bit more stress. But the real negative is friendly skill, debuff target with minus 10% death blow resist. So, basically, every heal that he gives lowers their death blow resist more and more and more. So... If he's healing people off of Death's Door, it's, it's going to be a bit risky. But that is pretty fantastic. Um, we don't want that because we've already got one that's similar that does a better job of uh, being more melee focused. Abomination, I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. Flagellant, damage versus bleeding. Uh, accuracy and crit versus bleeding is all pretty good. The Houndmaster, Protection Morgan, that's all really good. Plague Doctor, makes him more of a melee based character. The Jester, on melee attack hit, self, stress, mine. What? So, whenever he, hit, whenever he hits a melee attack, it takes 10 stress off of him. That's also kind of insane. Um, plus 10 damage, plus 4 accuracy. Ooh, but on attack, miss. Self plus stress A. Ooh, my God. But then you're going to get a really high virtue chance. Um, 10% damage, 10% stun chance, extra stress, mana arms, and Hound Master. I really do want this occultist one. Let's just have a little look at our occultist real quick. Where is Ryan? I think Ryan's there he is. So if we look at Ryan and go to... I think it's class specific... He does have some interesting ones. So we have this one here, which is the minus 30% bleed chance. So his bleed chance right now is 60%. So he'd only have a 30% chance to bleed. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I would, I would absolutely love to get some feedback on this. Like, 60, it, it costs almost all of our money so it would be throwing away a lot of upgrades but it would make him significantly better significantly better i it's very it's it's a very hard decision to make but i think for now we leave it and hope it comes around when we have more money and for now we just take all of our money and go into doing some upgrading um so let's let's do some of that shall we first of all let's do armor upgrades Fine, fine, fine. I'm doing the level twos first. Because I think we need it. Armor and weaponries is good. Right. It looks like a lot of people are okay, though. We've been upgrading a lot of people. Linus, Victoria. 
She's just leveled up. Oracle. Chasey. Yura. Most people level three. Yatsu needs it. Havarad needs it now. These guys need it. Red needs it. But this is what I mean by our money's a bit more important like this. Because we can just get so much more for it. Um, right. Because there's, there's these guys that need their upgrades to next level and level 3. So we're not doing any level 3 stuff yet. So I don't think we should. I think... I mean, we could have just saved money and kept kept trying to get as much as we possibly could with um with the bank. But I feel like this is a better investment right now. Alright, let's go into some skills and see who really desperately needs skill upgrades. There's a few people that do. Um, no, we're, we're going for the more important skills. You definitely need it on your heal. Word of power. And the stress heal, definitely. You definitely need that on these two here. And then, how how exactly would this work? Focused Ray. Um, how, how would that increase? Still an 85% chance for the minus one combat action. Torch minus 30 still. Extra damage taken goes up. Crit chance goes up. I don't think that's really that worth it. Crit mod goes up. Accuracy base goes up. We can take that. Mary definitely needs this. I think we're going to go on that. That and that. Fine. Fine. You definitely need this on all of your skills. I'm going to get you fully upgraded as much as we can. Um, Get both of them upgraded. It's difficult knowing what to upgrade with people. Okay. What else are we using on you? Summon a burn wall. Interesting. We'll go with that. Uh, and we're getting down to it now. We upgraded his punch. Let's upgrade... The rest of his skills that he's using. We'll do all of yours. I think that's all. Yeah, all four of them. And then we've got a few other people that desperately need upgrades, but they're going to have to wait. Let's just check if we need to do any trinket selling, things like that. Start by rarity. If there's anything we're really just never going to use, let's sell it. Um, I'm never going to use these because I just don't think they're very good, the Dark Wraith ones. Snake Charmer, I'm not going to use them. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. Extra speed I could, I could see myself using. Scouting Chance is always nice. Never going to use that. Five prop, never going to use that. Not going to use that anymore. Not going to use that. That could be good. We're not, we, we know we're not going to use that. We just wanted to sell it. Let's make sure we're getting the most value here. We've got two of these now, so we can sell one of them. Claimants. This, oh my god. Term of Holy Healing. I can't wait to use our Vestal. We don't have a Ronin right now. But I'm tempted to sell this. Yeah, I'm going to sell this because it's not even that good. We have two books of sanity, but I think that could actually work in some builds. And everything else will keep as is. We're back up to 21,000 now. Um, so let's see Let's see what we want to do next. Do we want to go for another Warren's one and try and beat another... Um, <laughs> what's his name? Collector. That would kind of be interesting. Go for Bogatier. Ooh, a seven speed, but a lot of shuffle. Interesting. We probably don't want to go on another long adventure. We've probably only got time for um, another short one. We do have a short one. Let's just go in Warrens again and go for another short one here and just try and level up some of our really low levels. Uh, so Dai can go up front. Mars can go second. Leo goes there. And, oh, we can't take our surgeon yet. He's not got a backstory. Uh, do we have a lower level healer? 
We don't really. We can take Will June. Or do we take our newly buffed insane Vestal? Now, because Vestal's near, near to leveling up, let's take Will June. Where are you, Will? There you are. Okay, you're already, you're already placed in. Okay, let's have a look at what we want to take here. Butcher? Oh, no, he's not Butcher. He's, he's um, Pit Fighter. Pit Fighter, um... Probably want to go with big damage on you. Let's try that out. So we're going same place again. So I'm actually going to go with the, the same setup we had before. In this. Just go with a crazy high damage. You can take... The self heal from the slime, wherever that is. And... Your dodge is already low, so you, you can take that. Where's the self heal? There we go, there's the slime. We probably want to be upping your chance to bleed and blight, so where's your amulet thing? 20% stun chance, 20% blight chance. Nice. And then... What do you want to go for? What, what's your resolve XP at? I could give him that and just give him some more resolve XP, but that's probably not the best idea. Um, hmm. I haven't really used my heads that much, but we've kind of got very niche heads right now. The heads we have don't fit into every party. Uh... Let's just take the extra scouting chance, because that helps out. And then healing, we, we want to take the obvious ones. Give them that. And you, you do have a trinket, don't you? Yeah. 3 speed and 20 prot, I like that a lot. I like that a lot with a 20 prot. There you go. That'll do us. Let's head out into the short adventure. See what we can get done. So we only need like... 14 food. Three shovels, two, 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 and like 14 of those, I think. That'll do us. And we do have our last diary entry, and this is for Chassis, our um, succubus. This is another one by Cell. It's been quite some time since I'd gone out. While the blood of the townsfolk tastes quite good, I'd rather drink of stronger creatures. Some of the other heroes seem like good meals. Perhaps I'll siphon some of their life force. I'm sure they won't miss it when they're dead. I never came here to make friends. To me, this dungeon is a buffet of all cuisines. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Quickly down there in the dark. So, um, we want to be completely 100% battle, so battles, we, we don't have to go that other way. Um, 55, 60, 60, 70. Bit risky at 70%, but we'll take it. It's been a while since we've been on a short adventure, actually, hasn't it? Well, this will be a very, very quick one, I think. Hoping with the scouting that we can get ourselves some um, secret rooms, but see, I don't even know if secret rooms can spawn on short adventures, you know? It might not be possible. It might not be possible. The first battle here. We can actually start off with this, and I love doing this. Buffing up his damage and crit and accuracy. Let's go for a stun on you. Nice stun. With that extra stun bonus, that's very nice. Marked Will June there, but we should be okay. Let's go for the strike. Knock him back. Nice one, Mars. Mars and um, Venus definitely need to go out soon as well. And get that extra damage versus stunned. Lovely little combo we've got going on here. That mix around there is not going to be too good for us, especially with a stun. In fact, do you have it? I don't think you can do anything from backline, so we're just going to swap you two around. It's a waste of a turn, but I'd rather you two not be swapped around. A siphon's going to hurt us. And we got fungal blood as well, which is not good. Fungal blood. Extra ac accuracy versus marked. Oh, to be fair, that doesn't hurt us too much because we don't actually do a lot of damage here. Um, let's go for the strike. No move. In the kisser. Give it a big punch. Oh, so close. Trying to move us constantly, but you're not going to do it. Will Will is sound of foot. Will not move. That will kill you and blight you, so that's a good one to go for. Them all. Let's go for the party heal just to get everyone back up to full. And finish you off with that blight, I think. Yep, there you go. Great stuff. And... 
I don't think we can quite get this. No, we can't. So let's just get our body out the way for now. Die the pit fighter is, is so good as well. Class is very strong. And that stun going. And just look how we power through this combat. Everyone working in harmony. And we got ourselves this, which is interesting. Um, damage reflection. That's kind of interesting. I like that. Burn altar. You can touch that. I think that gives you a big buff. Yep. Good, good, good. It's always good to get the until camp effects in um, short runs because you don't camp. You, you never lose them for the entire quest. Great. Stun you out so you can stop stressing people. Siphon from him. Why don't you? A little bit of blight on us there. Um, let's just go for the buff straight off the bat. I, I always like to open with that. These two are a little stressed out. A little more than I'd like. But we should be okay. Finish you off. Nice one, Dai. Will. Honestly, Will. Buff him again. <laughs> Get him doing those big hits. Oh, unfortunate miss there, Leo. Fortunate miss. But Leo, Leo has been in town uh, spending a bit of time with Mary. Getting to know her quite well. Don't know why I did that, to be honest. We got a stun, though, so works out. We've got kind of an interesting stun build going on with Dai here. I think it works out quite nicely. Light you, that's going to finish you off. Let's just go for the party heal here, because we might as well. He passed his turn. That's fine. Kind of annoying. We probably want to get rid of whatever quirk's making him pass his turn. There you go. Thoughts of inadequacy. We probably want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Surprised again. Basically, we use this first. Ups our stun chance and we start using the poised cleave to try and stun everything out. That seems to be a really good combination here. Uh, yeah, still go on the still go on the bus with Dai. I think he's really appreciating that right now, because we can get some pretty amazing one-hit kills with us bandaged-up hands. He he knows how to use his muscles. He can strike a foe where he know it hurts. But Will's such a good support for this, like as well as a healer. This stress is it's getting a bit too much here. Try and stun you out. Fortunately resisted. Leave him alone. Mars is, is chilling. Leave him be. Ow. Finish you off. You're bothering me. Okay, but go for a party heal again here. Big crit there for that stress heal, which is lovely. Stun you out. Sad thing is we can't even reach the back line there to hit him while he's stunned, but he wasn't stunned for long anyways. Finish you off. Sadly, we're not going to be able to reach him yet. Pull him forward a little bit. I was watching a documentary recently about this game, and I didn't know that while this game was, like, in early access, bodies weren't a thing. Enemies just always, like, moved to the front. You, you didn't have to destroy bodies. Such a good change. Just a good idea to add the bodies in. Uh, and that's it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to continue adventuring because I'm greedy. I think we can get a little bit more out of this. Little bit more out of this. Go for a fight here. Just got a lot of curios about that we can take on. Let's just go for the hits here and try and get kills early on. Will's been inspecting his father's relics and different ancient artifacts and finding some, some quite spooky things. I'm sure he's... Uh, a little more on the worried side than he was when he first turned up. When he first came back to the estate, I'm sure. Wow, the, the speed at which this group is killing things is impressive. Okay, uh, I'm not even going to go for that. I'm not going to have to go all that way and take some backtracking stress just for that. Balls. It's okay, we didn't take too much stress there. Okay, all those curios were worthless. Good to know. Either way, I think that's going to be a good stopping point for this quest. Very short one indeed. Very short one indeed. Great.
Dead Eye, that's not really going to help. Weapon Tinker is nice, though. I like that one. And let's see if we've got any new people arriving. Plot quest. Ooh. We've got a plot quest going on. Find a medicant friar. Um, the population is reminded to maintain skepticism in the face of a seemingly innocent quest from our honoured guests. So as to prevent the spread of unfairly biased heresy regarding our estate's checkered history. Okay. So... I'm not exactly sure. I think it's... Is it this one? Yeah, there you go, look. The Medicant Friar. Um, Friar. Has disappeared from the estate. He was last spotted heading into the ruins. Pursue the misguided holy man and ensure his safe return. So we have a level... Our first level 3 quest that we probably want to do next episode, actually. Um... We can take level 2s in with us, but it will give them some base level stress. Uh, so maybe we'll make a group of just level 3s. Maybe if you you guys could suggest a decent crew for this, that'd be great. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a little worried, to be honest. I'm a little worried. This could be difficult. Could be difficult. Our first big quest. On week 41, I think it is. Right, let's see who else we've brought in here. We've got a veteran. Okay, this is this is great. We just we just leveled up a bunch of other people. Right, one second. Let's just do this really quick. And by the way, some of you may be saying, why are you spending money on heroes that are low level, like level twos and ones, when you know you're going to be trading them out? I still want to invest money and invest our stock in our characters as if we would have spent on them anyways. I don't want to count on higher level ones coming in for us to save money even if a, even if a higher level one comes along and i've spent money upgrading that level three uh that level two sorry i'm okay to swap it out and lose that money because i feel like we should be investing in our heroes no matter what so we've got a veteran assassin where's our assassin assassin scarlet here so Wait, wait a minute. Scarlet. And Scarlet here is using first two and them two. The so go with them. And Scarlet's out. We've also got our Burgatier, which I think is level 3 already. I think our Burgatier... No, Rune's not quite level 3 yet. So we'll take on Rune. A new Rune. So he's using... I think them ones. Yeah. Cool. So Rune, you're out too. Our Acolyte of the Sun, which is Nori here. Uh, I do want to make sure as well something that I didn't do just then. Change our skin to the correct one. It was one of the ones with a mask. I think it might have been that one there. Rune, Rune's fine. I think he's the same one. But yeah, and then our Acolyte of the Sun here, Nori. Nori there. I think that's the one. Yep. And then skills are almost the same. We just need to change over that one there and that one there. Nori's out. She's gonna lose. She's gonna lose that mind rot, which is very useful. Of course, it's gonna change around some of our quirks, but I think that's fine. The so low level Nori goes. And then we've got an air that we just hit, that we just went out with there. Um, everything else is fine there. Let's check our trinkets again. Make sure there isn't anything amazing. Air only, thirty percent damage. Minus uh, minus fifty percent resolve XP, but extra maximum HP. Seems interesting. 
Um, don't really want that. I think all of these are kind of fine for us right now. We've got a few of these low-ranking ones here. Minus 20 stress and plus 4 accuracy is pretty good, really. But we wouldn't have enough money to go out again. But this, this, this sorts us out a little bit because now... We've got a few more level 3s. And now we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 level 3s. So we're kind of getting more and more ready as we go here. And we have zero level 1s now. We don't have a single level 1 anymore. So we have we have moved up in the world. We have a lot of level 2s that are only just level 2. I'll, I'll definitely state that. But this is definitely good. I'm really happy about that. And as I look at it now, let me just let me just do this really quick. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Literally everyone has level three upgrade armor at least. And then all of you have level four. Apart from Lucas, so we'll upgrade you. And now everyone, oh no, these two as well. Oh, I may have left myself with far too little money here. <laughs> that may have been a mistake. Okay, let's let's just do a little bit of selling just to recuperate some of our losses there. What stuff we're not going to use? We're not going to use that. We already did this earlier, but I think there's definitely more that we can get rid of. I'm never going to use that. Uh, probably not that. I know that selling trinkets isn't really generally a great idea. But, I'm, I'm not really sure about that. Accuracy, I'm probably not going to use that because I don't really like the minus speed there. Sad that these only sell for 15. <laughs> We've recuperated a little bit there. I'd like to get a tiny bit more here. Not going to use that one, I don't think. I'm not going to use that one either. And one more. Let's look at one more to get rid of. Yeah, not going to use that either. Cool. Okay, we're back up to a good amount for, for uh, provisions. I think we're in a good spot here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. This has been definitely a good one. Lots of decent backstories uh, and diary entries coming in. We've also got an interesting quest to go ahead with next time. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.